Delicious, warming, and packed full of medicinal benefits, golden milk is the perfect thing to keep you balanced and nourished. Today, we're going to look at my favorite, easy to use, and perfectly giftable golden milk paste recipe, as well as dive deeper into the plethora of health benefits that this drink can bring. Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm excited to share with you my favorite golden milk paste recipe. It is delicious, warming, and just packed full of wonderful medicinal benefits to help you feel balanced and well all winter long. Today we're going to discuss not only how to make this wonderful beverage, but also all of the wonderful medicinal benefits that it can bring. So if you're not interested in that and you wanna skip right to the recipe, use the chapter bars to do that. Okay, quick disclaimer before we get started. I am not a certified herbalist. I am not a doctor or any kind of medical professional. This is not intended to be medical advice. You are supposed to always contact your primary care before you try something new as plant medicine can really interfere with any current medications that you are taking. So with that in mind, let's get started. Golden milk as we know it today, or turmeric milk, has been used for over 4,000 years medicinally, originating probably in India, but also having a long historical tradition in traditional Chinese medicine, as well as other parts of Asia. Herbal energetics and constitution. These are terms commonly used in traditional medicinal practices, and they make a lot of sense to me. When I first learned about constitutions and energetics, something just clicked. The process of selecting herbs to use either in a long-term capacity or to treat acute symptoms became a lot more intuitive. So I hope with that by sharing the energetics as we go through these different recipes, that it will start to become more intuitive for you, that maybe you will have that same aha moment and things will just become a little bit more natural when you reach for the herbal medicines. Things kind of come together and you see that balance happening. Herbal energetics has a threefold meaning. It can refer to the properties, the energetics of the plants themselves. It can refer to the energetics of a condition such as a hot and dry cough or a cold and damp fever. And it can also refer to your natural physical state, which is often called your constitution. So for me personally, I naturally run cold and dry. I am the first person to grab a sweater. I'm often chilled. I just run a naturally a little bit cooler. I'm always reaching for warm beverages. And my medical history also backs that up. I have regularly low blood pressure and I have somewhat poor circulation, which can both contribute to my cold constitution. Of course, I can also experience acute symptoms that are hot and moist, all of the other energetics I can experience, but my baseline is typically cool and dry, maybe a little stagnant because I have that low circulation. So I personally really benefit from herbs that are warm, herbs that are moist, and herbs that are stimulating that help keep my blood pumping and everything working a little bit faster. That really benefits me a lot. So, fun question for you guys. Think about your natural resting state. What is your base constitution that you were just born with? How were you made? Think about your energetics and let me know what you think they might be in the comments. Do you run hot? cold, damp, or dry. First up, we have turmeric. Turmeric is the main ingredient in this recipe and its energetics are warm, dry, bitter, and stimulating. Cloves are considered warm, dry, pungent, and sweet. Cinnamon is also considered warm, dry, pungent, and sweet. Next up, we have ginger. It is considered warm, stimulating, pungent, and slightly sweet. Black pepper is considered warm, pungent, and stimulating. And the addition of black pepper in this recipe specifically really helps your body actually absorb and utilize the turmeric. One of my all-time favorite herbs and my favorite non-traditional optional add-in for this recipe is astragalus. Astragalus is considered warming, and toning or strengthening and slightly sweet. 
Honey is considered warm, moistening, and sweet. Coconut oil is considered cool and moist and slightly sweet. The inclusion of coconut oil in this recipe is really going to help your body, again, absorb all of the nutrients from these different herbs. Having some kind of highly digestible fat like coconut oil or butter just gets those things to actually absorb into your body rather than just passing through. Considering these ingredients and the plethora of benefits that they bring to the table, golden milk can benefit your stress levels, digestion, hormones, your sleep cycle, your immune system. It can bring more vibrant skin, hair, nails, better joint health. It can do so much to promote overall well-being for your entire body. Now let's get to the recipe. This makes about one half pint jar full and you can keep this in the refrigerator for about a month. This also makes a phenomenal gift. You can easily triple or quadruple the batches, put them into cute little jars with a little ribbon and it's perfect for a baby shower gift or Christmas or a hostess gift for Thanksgiving. It's really a wonderful nourishing gift that you can easily give. We're gonna start with eight tablespoons of turmeric. Now two teaspoons of black pepper, four teaspoons of cinnamon, which really equates to one heaping tablespoon. We also need four teaspoons of ginger. And so again, I just go one heaping tablespoon of ginger. And then we need two teaspoons of cloves. Two tablespoons of coconut oil or butter, some kind of fat to help us absorb all of these wonderful nutrients. And then about two to four tablespoons of hot water to melt that oil. Now as much sweetener as you'd like. I'm using maple syrup today. You could also use honey. Between about two and eight tablespoons of sweetener, but you can also leave it completely out if you'd like. Now that we've got the wet and dry ingredients mixed separately, we can go ahead and combine the two. This should come together to be a fairly thick paste, but if you're still seeing quite a bit of dry in the bottom, add a little bit more hot water until you get the right consistency. Once you have a uniform paste, you can you know, just leave it in this jar for your personal use, or you could transfer it into cute individual jars, put a little ribbon on it, and it makes a perfect gift. We've made our beautiful golden milk paste. Now, how do we actually prepare this to serve? You can do it hot or iced. Today, I'm going to show you the hot version, but to make it iced is very simple. And if you go over to the blog post up here, you can find full detailed instructions for this recipe, as well as instructions to make this iced. You can use any kind of milk you prefer. Coconut milk is my favorite way to enjoy this recipe, but we also enjoy it with raw goat milk or cow's milk. So today I'm using the Azure Standard Coconut Milk and I'm just going to heat up this whole can. The only thing to keep in mind with heating up your milk is you want to get it warm but not too hot and definitely not boiling. You don't wanna scald your milk, it'll give you a really funky burnt taste. So just on medium low heat, 
Once your milk is warm, all you need to do is add it to a glass. This is pretty rich and decadent, especially if you're using the coconut milk. So a small glass is perfect. And you can drink this absolutely any time of day. A lot of people love it as an after dinner, kind of relaxing before bed drink. I personally love it as a midday little calm pick me up when you know the kids are cranky for nap time. It's a great just stress relief, middle of the day pick me up. You're gonna do just about a teaspoon, more or less, to taste of your golden milk paste and just mix that in until it's well combined. And at this point, if you realize that you have a sweet tooth and you need a little bit more, you can add a little more sweetener at this point. Okay. And that is it. You have a beautiful, warming and nourishing cup of golden milk. I hope you enjoy. Thank you guys for joining me again today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider giving it a like, maybe sharing it with a friend who would also enjoy it and leave a comment letting me know what you think. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, maybe consider that as well. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next week. <laughs> it's not awkward at all.